Hi guys. So in honor of me passing an Amazon Solution Architect exam certification, I am doing this video and it's kind of like this tips and tricks and kind of what I did to pass the exam. And if you have no idea what this exam is, it's all about Amazon Web Services and cloud computing and all the services Amazon offers. And if you've been in IT for a while, you know a lot of infrastructures are going to cloud solution that Amazon is a really big one. So some of the things I did for the exam is, first of all, I signed up for actually a cloud guru. Um, I, I don't know who these people are personally, they're not paying me for this, but I really enjoyed their tutorials. I thought they did a fantastic job breaking down all the services I needed to learn. So I worked in some of the services in the past, but if you know anything about Amazon Web Store, you know there's literally hundreds of services in there. So having a good overview of a good chunk of them is required for this exam. So some of them are like high level understanding, some of them is kind of low level detail understanding. So really just this exam is about learning what you need to know to pass it. And I felt like it's really the core services you need to have more detailed understanding on and some of the least more least used services just an overview on. So I signed up for a cloud guru I think it wasn't that much maybe like $29 or so so and I went through their tutorials I also got this book Let's see got this on Amazon right ha ha Amazon but I got this on Amazon and it was um it says sixty dollars back here, but I really don't think I spent that much. I want to say I spent like thirty dollars on this. Maybe I got it used or something. I don't remember. But this has—I didn't really read this. I did not read this cover to cover. I really didn't have that kind of time. What I did do is this has uh, quiz questions in the back. So I went through the quiz questions for each section and kind of gave myself a little prep, little test um, prep there by reading those quiz questions. And if you look in the front there, it kind of gives a breakdown of kind of the services uh, that you kind of need to focus on, right? It kind of you kind of know what services really they're going to ask more questions on than others. So that's a really good idea. So just basically a lot of the legacy software, the first soft uh, services being offered, like the storage, the S3, the EC2, like the computing stuff, those are kind of big because there's like the legacy stuff that kind of really made AD Amazon Web Services really uh, um, popular. And a lot of the services kind of built out after that. A lot of them kind of integrate with those actually as well. So it's really good to know about those two fundamental ones. But there's also like storage and different storage options, long-term storage and availability and durability. Then there's like the EC2 stuff. I don't think there's any containers on there. But what there was is a lot of EC2 um, disk, elastic block storage, disk stuff, um, elastic file system, um, EFS, was in there and we also had a lot of like virtual private cloud you really need to know your virtual private cloud your network access list and your versus your security group and the differences there's some questions on network flow and monitoring network flow which I actually that's one thing I had no idea was on so if a cloud guru is watching please add some network monitoring services I forgot the name of it off the top of my head maybe I'll try to put it here if I remember um, but yeah CloudFront, um, cloud trail was on there uh, and a lot of basic IT questions. So if you have an IT background, you already have a heads up, honestly. I felt like a lot of questions were actually, if you just have a basic uh, networking background, like network troubleshooting in an environment, not really detailed network, you know, but like network troubleshooting, um, like DNS information, because they have DNS here, called Route 53, some basic understanding of different routes, uh, DNS um, options. That's good to know as well. But if you have an IT background, you already know a little bit about DNS. So... I thought that really helped with all the troubleshooting questions. And what else was there? There were some basic security questions, the security framework, understanding how the security and who's responsible, like what Amazon's responsible for versus what you're responsible as far as security. And yeah, so I thought it was a really fair quiz. 50 or so questions, 50, 55 questions, multiple choice, timed. So I'd say don't get hung up on the long scenario questions. So they put these like paragraph long scenario questions and you're reading and rereading, make sure you don't not missing any detail. And at the really the end, they put a lot of information there that really has nothing to do with the question and the answer. So it's like, and I feel like you get caught up in there. So don't get caught up in these long scenario questions and then miss out on the easier questions. So there's some questions that are just one sentence long questions and you can have a multiple choice answer. You click on it and but then they get stuck. So I almost felt like I was running out of time towards the end. So I kind of raced through the last series of questions because I was low on time. So don't get caught up on those. Um, and yeah, just try one of these books. Just know the main topics. Have a high view overview of like a number of their services. It's essentially what it is and then study the key topics 
that are covered that most likely appear on the exam, I think you have a really good chance of passing the exam. And again, here here's a Forbes article that shows like 120 something thousand reasons why to take the certification, right? So it's a great thing to add to your uh, resume. So definitely, definitely consider it. And if you have any questions or comments or you pass the exam, leave it below, but definitely, definitely give it a try. I think it was a great certification. Keeps your IT skills current and with the time because we all we know so many data centers are moving to cloud environments. So you got to keep with it and make sure you're able to migrate your data center and your services to a cloud environment and then maintain them in that environment. So, so important. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.